So welcome to today's wet and rainy and grim and overcast run. Uh, it's the 6th of May, it's actually the King's Coronation. So today isn't any old run. I actually have an announcement, which is the point of this video. So this is actually my first training update video in a while. Uh, I've written a script in the hope that I'm able to get all my points across in this video. I have a few events coming up. I have a couple of small ones. So in a week, I'm gonna be running the Colchester Stampede, which is the 10K run through Colchester Zoo. In three weeks, I'm gonna be running, hiking, running, hiking, depending on how I get on, the Yorkshire Three Peaks again. So I did the Yorkshire Three Peaks a couple of years ago with some friends and the weather just absolutely washed us off the second mountain. These conditions. There were three things that worked against me on this attempt. The first and most obvious was that I simply wasn't fit enough. Even though I'd started my fitness and weight loss journey back in 2019, I still wasn't ready for this challenge. Sure, I'm safe with bridges. And this leads me onto my second error. I carried too much gear. <laughs> I wore heavy walking boots, coat, base layers, heavy trousers, camera gear in a backpack full of heavy nonsense. I only actually completed one of the three. I got about three quarters of the way up the second one and then we just got, it was, a, we, we got annihilated. And then the third error was that I underestimated the weather in January in Yorkshire. The rain, gale force wind and snow as we made our way up to the second mountain was apocalyptic. It added to the already abundant stresses I was facing with the first two errors. Of how bad this is. We've had to call it. Going off on a slight tangent, but when you watch air crash investigation on TV, the accident is never caused by one major thing going wrong. It's always caused by a succession of small mistakes that culminate in a catastrophe. The inclines and declines on this route are what makes it a real challenge. It's not that far, just over 24 miles long, but with 585 metres or 5,200 feet of ascent and then subsequent descent, it's a bitch of a route. It's a good challenge and one I need to tick off as done. In four months, June, July, August, yeah. In just over four months, I'm gonna be running the Thames Path Ultra. So my big event this year is that I've signed up to the 100K Thames Ultra in September. So I'm practicing to wear my running vest, my hydration vest. So today's one is a 10 mile run. Um, the weather is appalling. It's been pouring down all morning. This is the big one. It's now completely dominating my training plan. Everything I'm doing is in preparation for this 100K Ultra. It's why I'm now increasing my weekly running distance. And it's also why I've invested in a Watt Bike Smart Bike to go on Zwift. And I've got exactly five minutes left. Come on, come on, come on, Ryan. My legs are on fire. You're killing me. Pump those legs. 189. He fell and he fell. One minute left. Ah! Cut my knee. I've lost it. What did I stand up for? The Thames Path Challenge is a fully organised 100k ultra marathon from Putney Bridge to Henley 
along a very pretty part of the River Thames. This will be my third ultra distance, the first time I'll be attempting to run it straight through. I say run it straight through, I'll probably jog some of it. I say jog, I might walk a bit towards the end. I say walk, it'll probably be a crawl over the finish line. So we're just coming up to pit stop one. It's just up here around the bend. My first ultra distance experience was Race of the Stones back in 2019, where I walked it over two days and camped in between. You see, I don't remember the finish line. I was too exhausted, but I do remember having horrendous leg cramps in the car ride home afterwards. It took me over an hour to get from the car, into the house, up the stairs, in and out of the bath, and then into bed. Tracy said it was like I was on end of life palliative care, the way I had to be carried and cared for. And in the second ultra was my backyard ultra, I named Walk the Lion. So on the 4th of July this year, I will walk the lion. Well, I walked 60 miles straight through during the pandemic in 2020. The GoPro's on 3%. We're coming up to the end of loop five. We're coming up to 50 mile mark. This one I do remember. And in the last five miles at 1am in the morning with my daughter supporting me, I had to lay flat on the grass in the middle of a farmer's field because I knew I'd pass out if I moved. It took everything I had to finish this one. Well, Dad's on his last 10 miles. And we've got to do it in the pitch black. I'm aiming to finish at 1am. That's, that's the hope. Time now is about this time, I'll be running straight through. Anything after 40 miles will be sheer willpower to finish. The plan currently is to run or jog the first 30 to 40 miles in a respectable time and then finish the last 20 plus miles any way how. There's no point in me having a time or pacing plan post 40 miles. When you're exhausted and your body is giving up, you don't care about pace or time. This is what I'm training for, running 40 miles at a respectable pace and in an endurance jog or walk for the last 20 plus miles. I also forgot to mention that I've also signed myself up for the Royal Parks half as well in September or October, no October. I can't remember when, September, October. I think it's October. I've always wanted to do that because running through all the Royal Parks through London would be good. Those are probably all the events I'm gonna do this year. I think it's enough. Um, I've also reapplied for the London Marathon. I won't get the results for that until July, I think. But if I get that, I'll be running that in April. The rest of my time is gonna be taken up with a combination of training for those events. The Yorkshire Three Peaks is only in three weeks. So obviously the big training, the big, big training is gonna be for the Thames Path Challenge in September. And that's what's keeping me focused. So the current tactics are train to run 30 to 40 miles at a 12 to 13 minute mile consistent pace, lose weight as I'm still too heavy to run or even complete this distance happily. Currently I weigh 245 pounds and I want to be a lot closer to 210 pounds by September. I'm actively on a calorie controlled deficit diet combining healthy, effective eating with my existing training plan. I'm going to share more about this in a future video. I also have a cheeky little 10k fun run with my partner Tracy next Sunday. We're both really looking forward to this. I love running with Tracy. Normally I'm a solitary runner, but running with Tracy is fun and I get to try it and race her. We're both really competitive and there is no way she will let me win if she has any say in the matter. All my future videos, including my Swift videos, will be me building up to the Thames Path Challenge Ultra in September. I'll document myself in entertaining videos for you to follow along if you want to. I've promised to make a video about my new weekly training routine and I will very soon. It's taking longer for me to kind of complete it. I'm procrastinating over it. I've recently purchased a new Watt Bike Smart Bike and now I've completely fallen in love with Zwift. I'm so competitive and everything about Zwift has captured that for me. 
It's also a great way to train my cardio and strengthen my legs without consistent impact. You've just received 10 ride-ons. I don't know what that means, but I've just been overtaken by an entire pack. Let me see if I can catch them up. That's made it fun. Right, up again. See if I can catch the pack. I'm never catching that pack. As it says in my channel description, do subscribe and leave your comments as it motivates me into making more of these videos and it helps me in my training. In return, I promise to entertain you and hopefully inspire you. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one next week. So that's my 10 miles done. Uh, it's actually nearly 11 miles. It always blows me away how much easier I now find 10 miles compared to when I first started running. Notice I said easier and not easy. I was considering doing another 5K to take it up to a half marathon distance, but I'm absolutely soaked through. I wanna take these trainers off. I wanna get in a hot shower. I wanna have a hot cup of coffee and I wanna sit down for five minutes. So I'm not gonna run another 5K, I'm missing out.